All right, y'all, here we go again. I got a few hours to fish. I'm gonna get back at it. I got three lines going out right now. We're going after carp, catfish, and buffaloes. It is very, very hot right now. We've had a whole lot of drought. We've had a whole lot of rain. It's really screwed up the whole entire ecosystem. Fishing's been exceptionally tough. It's supposed to rain later on, so we got a short, short window this morning to fish. So we're gonna try to get it done, y'all. Let's do this. We go sending out another line send that one way deep way deep out there actually it's not that deep it's just far on the other side I got something tapping on this one yeah something's nibbling On this one. Yep, yeah, there we go. Fish on. Ow, oh, fish off. Ah, he dropped off, y'all. Yeah, he dropped off. Dang it. I got a new recipe here, which is obviously corn with uh, oatmeal and jello. And I'll put some masa in there, which is like a flour. We're giving that a go today. It's also got a little bit of pineapple juice in it. Just to sweeten it up. Never tried this before, so we'll give it a go. Oh, this just had a hit and went slack. It went totally, totally slack, y'all. Shit. Took it into a snag. Oh, pretty good snag. Look at that, y'all. I don't know if you can see that. Right there? That is a giant nutria. That was a giant nutria going across the water. Nutria looks like a river otter. They get big. They're not actually native here. They were imported in for their fur. And uh, they've just adapted and they live here now. They look like river otters. They're really, really cool. They're aquatic. I've never actually seen one down here before. So that was kind of cool. All right, y'all, we gave this spot a few hours. We've had maybe one bite, so we're going to load up shop and head further downstream, see if we can't have some better luck down there. I will see y'all at the next spot. All right, y'all, the universe is definitely challenging us today. We get down to our second spot. And generally, you can stand here on the bank, but the water's high, so today we can't stand here. We found a spot further down. And luckily we can cast far and I don't care we are going for it y'all hey y'all here we go walking down the concrete embankment one rod stuck there going that way one rod going here I'm gonna throw this one out in the middle this is the most interesting I don't even care I'm doing it y'all we're doing it And I'm put some bells on the rod holder. This is actually something I saw on another YouTuber's channel. So it should jingle if a fish takes. We'll see. All right. 
Ah, yeah, so we are set up now. We're set up. Whoop. That one just had a pull. That one just had a pull. So, because of this location, I have the live liner on. This one's just really loose. Loose enough. And that one's got a live liner on it as well because <laughs> where I'm situated, if I do get a hit, a big hit, it's just gonna take my rod right into the water. So we're going with the live liner action. Sometimes fishing's hard, man. Sometimes the fish don't wanna bite. Sometimes mother nature's against you. This last two months have just been absolutely brutal fishing for me, um, mostly because of the weather out here. We've basically gone from historical droughts to monsoon season, and it has just absolutely changed everything every single day. It's different weather conditions, different air pressure, different water levels, different water temperatures, just a complete cocktail of cluster. And, um, but you know, I got a couple hours a day. I'm gonna get out here, I'm gonna try my best and hopefully catch something for y'all. All right, let's get back to fishing. So, new one going out. Do you know what I am gonna do, y'all? I'm gonna toss this one shallow, short. Right there, the other one's further out. It's actually deeper than I thought it would be right there. Well, that was not what I was hoping for. <laughs> the smallest channel cat ever. But it is a fish. Not the one we were hoping for, though. That one, y'all. That's fish on. That is fish on. What do we got? What do we got, y'all? We got a little blue catfish. There we go. Well, bigger than the last one. Bigger than the last one. There we go, guys. Not the target species. Not the target size. Hey, when fishing's tough, this is absolutely a victory. Absolutely. So, meh. We're going to go send this guy back and get that line bag out there. Victory for the day, y'all. Yeah, this one just had a pull. No, I don't feel anything. Must have no bait, so we get that loaded back up. We'll get this one cast back out. Now we can see this whole cast net here that someone left behind. Looks like they uh, got it snagged up. Broke over half the guidelines. Trying to get it out. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that out of here and take it with us. Throw it out properly, cause uh, we definitely don't want fish getting snagged up on all that and just dying. But in all honesty, when they snagged it, it was probably underwater and they couldn't access it. And now the water's gone down, so we can get it. Got one, y'all. That's fish on. <laughs> Oh, he is putting up a fight. <laughs> Another blue cat. Another blue cat, there we go. Another blue cat. Man, he almost took my rod in. I didn't have it held in that well. Yep. There we go. Ooh, this guy's feisty. There we go. Got another one. This guy's a little bit bigger. Another blue cat. Slightly bigger, man. He's a little fatter. I don't know if you can really tell that on the camera. He's definitely chunkier. Oh, this little guy almost took my rod in because the rod holder wasn't held in too well. There you go. Well, two plus the super, super tiny. I'm still calling it a victory. Let's go get this guy back in the water now. Oh, this one went, this one went. I guess he dropped. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's on there. He's on there. Woohoohoo! That guy's super feisty, man. Super feisty. Channel cat, y'all. Channel cat hit it. Beautiful. Beautiful colors. There we go, y'all. A beautiful, beautiful little channel cat. All right, so now, what are we up to three now? Two blues and a channel. Plus a super, super tiny channel. Oh, this guy's just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful colors. I hope y'all can see that in the camera. Beautiful iridescent green colors. All right, let's go send this guy back. All right, y'all, so that is gonna wrap it up for me today. We did not catch the monsters we were after, but we did catch fish, and that is a freaking victory, especially when fishing is tough, and it has been absolutely tough. But don't you worry, we are gonna get out, we are gonna catch some more monsters. We just need this weather to stabilize a little bit and stop going uh, drought and rain and drought and rain. And once we get that, fishing's gonna be back on, y'all. Y'all stay tuned for that. If you liked anything you saw, hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. I'll catch you on the next video, guys.